Glitches, bugs, those kinds of things are almost going to happen in pretty much any game. Uh, but in Ponytown in particular, it has plagued the game for many years. Since it came out to this very day, there are all kinds of bugs and glitches and stuff like that. And today, I kind of want to take a brief look at a lot of older bugs, uh, bugs and glitches that have been in Ponytown's history that I was a huge fan of, that I really loved. I don't want to talk about the things like... Oh, I, I clicked an, uh, an icon and it didn't load for some reason or like weird bugs and glitches like that, right? I want to talk about some of the more insane or cool ones, right? Starting with my favorite glitch that I'm actually disappointed was actually removed because it was in the game ever since the party house was introduced. I'm of course talking about the void space that is above the house. If you go inside your house, there is a space right above your house that you used to be able to access if you kind of clipped through the wall. You could clip through the wall by placing a barrel or a box or some other item that had a collider on it on top of you while at the top of the uh, house. <laughs> And what would happen is, once you're inside that collider, you could just walk straight up and you would be in this weird void space. This actually still works on some custom servers such as Ashes Town, so if you guys want to try out this glitch for yourself, uh, you can actually go to Ashes Town, go to the top of the, your house or whatever, place an item on you, and then walk straight up and boom, you're there. You're in a weird void space. This used to be in um, the base game. This used to be in Ponytown for many, 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 many years. And ultimately, it was removed. It, on, in Ponytown, you could actually place tiles up there, and you could actually see the tiles. Uh, you couldn't actually place any items or anything like that up there, but it was really cool and interesting, and I'm actually genuinely disappointed that it was removed because there's all kinds of fun things that you could do with this. Ultimately, it was removed. Another thing that was really fun that I remember seeing a lot of people messing around with was the UFO strawberries. You see, when the bakery was first introduced, uh, they added a lot of new edible items and things like that, and one of them were strawberries. But there was a weird glitch that could happen if you picked up the wrong strawberry. What you would have to do to trigger this glitch essentially was you'd have to go to the strawberries, pick one up. If it didn't start floating, you would eat and you would eat it and pick up another one, and you would repeat this over and over and over again because there was a small chance that when you picked up a strawberry, it would just be floating way above your head, uh, kind of diagonally a little bit, but it would be floating up there, and it was kind of wacky uh, and stuff. It was really kind of interesting. A lot of people had fun with it. You could still nom it, you could still eat it, you could still do whatever you wanted with it because it was still a strawberry that was considered to be in your mouth, even though it wasn't actually in your mouth um but a lot of people had fun with this this actually was in the game for quite a while if i'm not mistaken uh before it was removed because I, I think they just decided it wasn't that big of an issue so they were just going to wait till the next update to fix it which i think is ultimately what happened now i want to take a little break from some of the goofy ones and kind of talk about a little bit of more of a spooky one because this has been in the game since forever now <laughs> I, I don't think it's in the game anymore at least i don't i'm, I'm pretty sure it's not um but what used to happen is there used to be this thing called a ghost pony, and it would just kind of appear on your party island or in random places on the map and stuff like that. And what this was, was a player that looked like an actual player. It didn't have like weird transparency to it. There weren't weird parts of it missing or anything like that. I, I believe you could even hover over it and it would give you a name or something. Um, and it was super weird, um, but it wasn't actually a player. It was just this weird after image of a player that used to be standing in that spot and is definitely no longer there. I have no idea how this was triggered. I think how it happened was if you did certain things and then logged off the game, your avatar would still be sitting in that spot for some of the other players. It was super weird. I remember going into um, a party house with a friend a long time ago, many, many, many years ago. I'm talking like 2017 uh, and stuff like that, very long time ago. And I, I went in there, I we, we were talking for a bit, and then I was like, hang on, who the hell is this person over here? They couldn't even see that player at all. I was the only person that could see that player, and it really freaked me the hell out. Um, especially when my friend was like, oh, that's probably one of the ghosts. And I was like, what? What the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> ghosts? Um, and apparently it's just this thing that's been in the game every now and then. Sometimes it comes back, and sometimes it doesn't. Uh, but on that same vein, um, there is other glitches that are very similar to this. You could call these, like, ghost ponies as well. But basically, there is invisible ponies. This is some glitch that can happen to some people. It's a client-side thing, just like the, the ghost pony thing. But essentially, I have no idea how it works, but eventually somehow parts of your character will go invisible either for yourself or for for people around you up to the point to where you could be entirely invisible I, i'm showing you some images here now on screen for you but it's really wacky 
parts of your character could disappear, the entire character could disappear, but you could still be uh, clicked on, uh, hovered on, and stuff like that, and your name would pop up and all this other stuff. It was really weird. Um, it was always a temporary thing that happened. It would happen for a little bit. Maybe by the next time you play or like refresh or walk around a little bit, maybe you'll stop popping back into existence or something. It was super weird, and it was in the game for a while um, until it was ultimately fixed. Um, and yeah, very, very weird. Another wacky thing that was actually really fun. Um, it wasn't in the game for too long, probably about a day, maybe a day and a half. But there was this Earth Pony flying glitch that you could do. Uh, you could do it if you were a unicorn. Basically, you could do this if you didn't have wings, you could still fly in the game. Uh, if you had mismatched wings, for example, in the game right now, if you try to equip some uh, changeling wings and then a Pegasus wing, you won't be able to fly with it because it's mismatched wings or whatever. This was, this was actually kind of fixed a little bit. Um, well, not really fixed, but this was kind of broken a little bit in this update. Uh, and basically what happened was you could exit the game, equip wings to your character, such as Skella here, equip wings to it, enter the game, start flying, leave the game while still flying, and then edit the Skella character, remove her wings, and then join back in the game, and your character will still be flying, even though you don't have wings. And that's how it was done. It was really cool and interesting, and it happened because they preserved Pony State, so if you were flying when you left the game, and you rejoined, you would still be flying, and that's how they kind of did it, um, and that's what triggered the glitch and stuff, is because they didn't account for the fact that you would be editing that character first. Um, there was also another weird thing that happened in this update too. Somehow, I, I never figured out how it happened, but the, the wings would kind of vibrate and stuff and it was really wacky and interesting. There's been all kinds of clipping through walls glitches in the past. Uh, everything from clipping through the bakery uh, and getting into the void in that space. I mentioned the void space above the house earlier. You clipped through that. Um, there's other clipping things too. Uh, some some people were able to do it in the library when it came out. Um, some people were able to do it in the caves. There's all kinds of places that you used to be able to do this at. And every now and again, it kind of creeps back up and people find another way outside the map and into these weird glitch spots. Um, and again, kind in the same vein of like clipping through stuff there there is many different ways to actually sit on the cliffs which is super weird there was all kinds of weird clipping issues throughout ponytown's history and those are just a few Another weird thing is, and I, I seen this before, and I, I, a friend told me how to do it, and then I just never did it for some reason, but I did write it down, so this is an extremely old note, but basically you could freeze your face, essentially. You could freeze your face, and how you would do it is you would nom on a daisy or some kind of flower or something like that, right? Then you would eat it while also moving your eyes. And then your face would just be stuck in the nomming state. And it was it, it was super weird. It looked really weird. And another note on it too is that if you did the kissing emote after your face was stuck like this, it would look super weird and very broken. Um, and then every kiss after that would, would be normal again because it reset your face when you kissed. Or uh, I think it did the same thing with like sneezing and other stuff as well. Super weird. Um, I, I, I don't have any footage of it because, I, like I said, I, don't, I, I never even try to participate in that glitch. Uh, but if you guys have footage of that or anything like that, let me know in the comments below. Um, but there's another one, too. Um, there is this weird spawn poles glitch that happened at some point uh, a year or two ago. I think it was about a year and a half ago at this point now. And essentially what it was is they rolled out an update and then for some reason there was these weird yellow poles throughout the map in various locations and stuff. These were spawn poles because that's what they were. That's what they're actually called. They're called spawn poles. And what they were for is for like um, devs and stuff like that to be able to teleport to them and things like that if I'm not mistaken. Um, I could be entirely wrong with that. But I believe that's what it's for. But they're always meant to not actually exist. You're not actually supposed to be able to see them. Um, and so apparently for some reason and whenever this update came out, you were just able to see them for some reason. And it looked really weird. Um, people made a lot of jokes and stuff about them and everything else. People made weird, wacky theories and stuff. And it was a good, fun time. But they were removed about uh, a day later, less than a day later, I think. Uh, but that leaves us with, I believe, our last one here. Um, so there used to be this confetti glitch. I discovered this while, like, doing an entirely different video. I was doing, like, the, oh, the... The, the pony stole my barrel house. My barrel house is stolen and whatever else like that. By the end of the video, I was messing around with a bunch of other stuff. And I found some confetti just sitting on the docks for some reason. And I was like, why is there... What is this? I didn't even know what it was at the time. And then I figured out it was confetti because someone told me. And then I was like, what? I knew that glitch was in the game, but I thought it was removed because party poppers are gone. And then I realized, oh, the party poppers aren't gone. You can still get them on your, ma on your party map. And so I went and got some... 
got a bunch of people and we try to completely fill up the docks with confetti and it was a good fun time um that video is still up and everything i'll leave a link to it in the top right i guess but basically, that's how it works. You would just get a party popper, and you would blow it, and some of the confetti would come out, and there was a small chance that it would kind of just stay on the ground and not disappear. <laughs> it didn't actually, it wasn't technically on the ground because it was above your character, but it was super weird. Um, I think there was like a weird chunk loading thing that you had to do as well, so you had to get far enough away after you placed them, um, and then come back, and then the, the confetti would appear, but... It was it was a weird thing. It worked super weird, and it was a fun time. So these are a handful of glitches and a brief look at some glitches and bugs in Ponytown's history. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments below if there's any huge, crazy bug or glitch that is really fun and interesting that maybe I missed or something. Maybe I can make a part two to this or something. Uh, but for now, I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, please do consider liking, subscribing, sharing, and doing all those wonderful things like that. Because when you do wonderful things like that, not only do you get access to wonderful content such as this, but you also get to become wonderful for yourself, and I think we all want that. So do those wonderful things, and until next time, stay wonderful.